the kinds of assets and investments that you have that are that will be part of your business for several years, 5, 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30 years when you are talking about a building or something like that. These are the, the longer term financial management, managing your fixed assets, production facility, office, equipment you might buy, trucks, um, warehouses, computer equipment, modern facilities. Oftentimes you have to figure out how you're going to manufacture your product, store your product, warehousing, whatever, computers, uh, server farms, that sort of thing. Um, you can lease. Um, you can uh, get operating leases or capital leases. They're accounted for differently. They mean slightly different things. So you have to look into the details of that. Um, but there are ways that you can you can bring assets into your business and you bring in an asset that has a long life to it, 5, 10, 15, 20 years, and you then come up with financing arrangements that perhaps also have obligations that span that same period of time. The way that decision is made is called capital budgeting. Very important key component of financial management because what you're trying to do is, is acquire important assets that have a lifespan over a year or two, five, ten, as we said, a piece of manufacturing equipment, a truck, a warehouse, a office complex. And then you're trying to figure out how you're going to get the capital to fund that how much return you have to get from that capital, pay for all the interest, all of those kinds of things. Um, how, much, uh, how much value you're going to get from the asset compared to how much cost there is in terms of maintaining it and supporting it both financially and operationally, and then come up with a decision as to whether or not it makes financial sense to purchase that product or service. And that's what financial planning is about and discounted cash flow and the sorts of toolkit that you would learn in a financial management program or financial management courses and, um, and other kinds of techniques associated with that. All of this longer term that we've talked about relates to managing and assessing risk. 